We're using Silgar 184. It's made by Dow. It's specifically made for solar panels. All right, so we're going to mix it together. Just pour it in. It has the consistency of like syrup. I like to build my solar panels in the fall and in the winter. Um, the slower the setup, the better. It gives it more time to move around and slide under the cells and get rid of the air bubbles. Summertime, this stuff will heat cure, so um, you got about two hours or so to play with this stuff. Don't get in a hurry. Just take your time. You don't want to mix it real violently and get a lot of air whipped in it. Just stir it slowly. You don't have to worry about being real thorough and complete with it. it it will set up. What I do is, like I said, my table, I have a vibrator built in. It helps move everything around. I try to pour it where I pour around the edges of three sides of the cell and not the fourth just to let that air bubble escape. I also help spread it around with a paintbrush on the back side. And then uh, when I'm done, I'll uh, leave the vibrator running for about an hour. I'll cover it with a piece of cardboard and um, keep it in the shade. And I'll leave it alone for three days. Just let it sit there and do its thing. After that, I'll uh, my barn faces south so I can open this big door and leave this all in the barn with the sun shining on it and let it heat up. And I won't put this on my array for... A week or two. If you try to put it on there too fast, um, this stuff sets. It'll be sticky, and the cells may uh, slide off. And especially when you put it in upside down, it gets out in the heat. So I, I leave it. Uh, I leave it upside down. Um, so if you turn it right side up and you put it out and try to use it, it it may f slide off on you. So. Give it at least a week. It's going to pour. You don't have to be worried about being neat. And worrying about being getting it extremely accurate. Just, just pour it out. It all slides around and got plenty of time to play with it. And I'll just set it there and let it leak. If you don't have a table that vibrates, you can, uh, you can simply do some things and help slide it around. And just take a paintbrush and help spread it around. If you end up with a high spot, uh, with a cell sticking up, don't panic. You can come back later and add a little bit of that clear silicone to the back side. It won't matter on the back. This silicone stays pretty clear, but it will get cloudy. You set it out in the sun in about three months' time, it's, it's cloudy. So uh, This 184, it stays optically clear. 30 years, you'll get a, a, a lifetime out of it. And you just spend some time spreading it out. Another thing I do is, before I encapsulate, is I'll caulk a bead, make a dike as close as I can to the cells. And that keeps from wasting that encapsulant over here on the edge. Now this glass runs all the way almost to, you only got about a quarter inch gap. So all your solder connections that are made um, are on the glass. So it's not only aluminum where you're shorting out anything. You can also take a little dab. You can see here in the corner. 
little dab of silicone and it helps hold that cell in place. And there's one here, there's one there. I dab them just here and there to help hold them from sliding around while I'm encapsulating. Doesn't hurt a thing. You'll see bubbles start appearing that are working their way out from underneath. Um, it takes time, it takes hours, uh, if not days. I, well, I really like doing it in cold weather. The longer it takes to set up, the better, the more time it has for this encapsulate to, to even out. I could put it all on one end and leave it alone and come back and it'd be all even out on its own. I do spread it around, like I said, help it out with a paintbrush to make sure I get good coverage. I have a hole in the table where I can look underneath and see where I'm having areas that are need a little more help. But pretty much I'll leave it alone, let the table vibrate. I'll get every drop. I haven't found any products that are better as of yet than the uh, this made by Dow. And that's about it. We'll uh, I'll put a piece of cardboard over this and like I said, let it vibrate for about an hour. So if you don't have a vibrator, you can, you can simply just help it out. It's been a long time wiggling it. Um, I'll show you one that I did about three days ago. It's still a little sticky. Let me grab it real quick. This is one I built a couple days ago. The encapsulate's still a little sticky. Um, I added a, a little bit of this to some of the cells that had warped up. You can kind of see the discoloration here and there, but the backside doesn't matter. Again, it's going to take about a week before I want to turn this thing over. Um, I'll let it sit out in the sun for several days and let the heat set it real good before I, uh, I put it on my array. This is one that is a couple of years old that I took off and uh, you can see there are some tiny little air bubbles um, but the frames held up well it's got a little bit of age look to it. The, uh, the glass we use is a clear tempered quarter inch glass. A lot of the solar panels you buy out there are just eighth inch glass and they break easy. The, you get a gust, 60 mile an hour gust of wind um, and it breaks and the frame's so weak it won't survive. So again everything we're building is to try to last for 30 years not just one summer. Um, the glass has a 25 pound per square foot snow load and 100 mile an hour uh, wind load on it. Um, this system um, should last you, take care of it, it should survive a hell storm. I do bring mine in in the event of a hurricane, unbolt them, run them in, and when the storm's gone, put them back, uh, just safety reasons. Um, <clears throat> you should be able to build your own solar panel, do it yourself. You can buy these cells on eBay. Uh, we sell the frames. I have a website and I also sell the glass. We sell the glass uh, individually or in doubles this size. The bigger panels that we offer and the bigger glass uh, has to be shipped by freight and it'll come in crates. Uh, if you buy 12 at a time, you get free shipping. If you buy minimum of six then you have to pay the shipping and depending on where you live shipping could be a hundred hundred fifty dollars um, again you can build these for about half the price of buying one uh, commercially made and uh, this is a lot stronger much better product uh, this is my personal array it's a little over a thousand watts I run a refrigerator TV and some lights off of it. It runs up to charge some batteries that goes to an inverter and then into my house. Um, I'm going to show you how the encapsulant keeps it uh, moisture out. I'm going to squirt it with a water hose and you can see how the 
squirt the underneath as well as the top, and there's absolutely no problem. I actually come down here and squirt it with a water hose and the heat 